Hi you guys, welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker and I think this is show and tell 127. <laughs> it's been two weeks since I filmed the show and tell. I'm gonna be honest, life has me a little knocked sideways. It has been nonstop. I've been sick for like three days now. I finally feel better. <laughs> I felt better yesterday. So like I've, I've had a day in between, but like I spent three days sick this week, barely able to move. We're, the weather is still doing the, and once it's cold and stays cold, I'll be fine. But like today's high 70, tomorrow's low is 28. My bones are going to hurt so bad Saturday morning when I wake up. I was joking with my neighbor, like I'm going to look like a Jawa walking down the street when we are walking <laughs> Saturday morning because it's supposed to be right now we're looking at the humidity is probably going to be about 70 percent so it's not as bad as it could be but still very moist in the air it's going to be foggy with a humidity of 70 or 70 percent it's going to probably feel like 22 and while that's normal for like the end of January, beginning of February, that's not normal here for November. That's actually quite chilly for this time of year for us. So <laughs> my bones have been aching on these cold days because it's like we go from like a 70 degree day to it being 20 degrees and it is very painful for my joints. We're not having it. I'm in the middle of decorating for Christmas because all of our Thanksgiving company is coming after Thanksgiving. So I need time to get everything transitioned before I start cooking for Thanksgiving meals. And I'm just like, bing, 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 bing. <laughs> I have not had much time to sit down. I've been trying to film since Sunday. It is now Thursday. This will hopefully be edited and put up today, but I've been trying to film this video since Sunday and I'm just now getting to it. So Anyway, let's rock on and see what's in my basket of stuff. Because to be honest, I don't even know what's in here anymore. I haven't added anything to it since I got a package from Doris over at Rose Cottage Studio the other day. And that's it. So we'll start off with that since that's right here on top. Oh, okay. So she sent me another set of these ice yarns. These are so pretty. I love color. These are the Magic Light. This is 100% acrylic. These are 100 gram balls. It says 360 meters. And this is because it's the light. It's the uh, DK weight or sport weight. I think, that, I think this actually is a sport. I can't remember. But of course, like immediately I was thinking shawl or baby blanket. Because we do have lots of kinders that are coming along. 2022, one of the goals is going to be replenishing my baby blanket stash. Because I have no baby blankets left. I, I need to finish at least one more before Christmas. <laughs> um, and I haven't even had time. Like, I don't think I've picked up a ball of yarn in three days now. That's how bad I felt the other day, though. Like... Just a testament to how bad I felt. But we have some more granny squares that I got finished up from my scrap bin here. This is that red heart raspberry ice. I swear, that's another one of those like self-propagating things. Like it's like bunnies in my stash. Every time I turn around, there's another one of these. This is a red heart. I love this yarn. This is a uh, impeccable Kelly Green. I think this was fun. So I still need to weave in the ends on this, but I took the leftover bits from the cardigan that I made a few weeks ago using my shawl pattern and I made a cowl and it's just using the third loop, half double crochet and the round. I did not mark the beginning. I just went, I held it double and I just went until I ran out of yarn. I mean, nobody's going to know that wasn't the beginning or that wasn't the beginning. Well, I guess that's clearly the end. But like, I did end up <laughs> almost perfectly doing it. But I did make a cowl. And it's very, very soft. It's very, um, 
close to the neck. I needed something a little bit closer to my neck for the 30 degrees and above, but need a coat walks. My, my other cowls tend to, they're more infinity, drapey. We also have this. So I'm very excited to have this done. This will be a donation, but this is just a giant wrap made out of the Karen Chunky Cupcakes that I got on clearance a couple years ago. There are four raspberry colorways. And then in the center over here, we have Grape Sickle. So I just kind of threw that in. The colors actually coordinated really well. I think if I hadn't, because like this is Grape Sickle. And then it goes to the raspberry. But the way the, the gray popped up and that one band dark purple popped up, like it does kind of look a little off center, but it's okay. I don't think anybody else will notice other than me. That's just kind of a, my eye immediately can tell where that was. And part of it's where the ends are, but just like that dark purple and that gray are perfectly right there in the center, but it makes it look off center because you had all these purples, no pinks. And then immediately pop up with the pink over here. But that's what I've gotten done. So I've been working on a baby blanket. I've been working on Erica shawl. I've been working on that C2C -C blanket. I'm still working on granny squares, obviously. But it's been a week. It's absolutely been a week. Um, I do have... Oh. Now, when I have had time to craft, this has been what's taking up a lot of my time. So these are my Christmas cards. I have not added on any of the embellishments and things like that. I think we're at about a hundred cards so far. And we have some five by sevens and we have some four by sixes and... I started off really wanting to get a whole bunch of just cards made and wanted to use up as much of the paper as possible. We had a large, a lot of these large prints that were just really super cute. We just wanted to show off the large print. Got the cut aparts used up pretty quickly in this paper pad, but that's what a lot of my time, if I, if I have been crafting, that's what a lot of my time has directly gone to, has been card making, because normally by now, I'm already starting to address cards. And I'm running just a titch behind. I had, I mean, there were just so many of these large prints where it was just impossible to find a way to show them off without chopping them way down. So I need to put inside sentiments in these. I need to put little, you know, happy holidays and things like that on the front. I need to finish these off, but that's where we are on those. There are lots of duplicates. I cannot wait to tell you where we end up on my numbers of like things like washi tape used by the end of the year. Cause you know, my goal was to use up 25 things of washi tape by the end of the year. And let me tell you guys, I think that's the one I actually spilled coffee on. Coffee or my water, I can't remember which. But uh, I hit my goal. I hit my goal. But I've only got a couple more of these left to put together. And then it's going to be doing the embellishments and the insides and getting these sent out. But we do have quite a bit. That's taken up quite a bit of, like I said, my crafting time up late. Oh. Cal was the scraps from this. Um, that needs to go upstairs. But yeah. Getting Christmas together and getting, getting the house decorated and transitioned. 
I've got one tree 90% done. I've got one tree 30% done. I've got certain groups of decor out, but then other things are kind of bare and naked. And I'm doing the shopping, trying to get things together for Thanksgiving because we have two different types of eaters for both meals. Um, we have some uh, dietary restrictions for one and all the traditional classics that I don't eat <laughs> for the other one. So it's like uh, trying to get everything. It's like it's, it's oh. being the adulty adult right now is I just want to, to curl up in the bed and pull the blankets over my head and go maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. And losing three days just really did not, did not help me this week. So that's where I am. That's what I got done. Um, I'm waiting on one other package to get here. I was hoping that would be here today, but it did not make it today. So I can't wait to share that with you. I'm pretty excited about it. But other than that, really, I'll be honest. That's all I've got. I got some cards I'm working on and I got a couple couple finished objects here. Hopefully I'll get some more work done on that. I've only got like this much done so far. So it's not even enough to show on the baby blanket. The shawl looks about the same, just bigger. I have I I am right at where we're changing colors. So like the detail work is starting. Um and my my corner to corner looks about the same. So I can't even show you my whips because my whips look like slightly larger versions of what they did last time I shared them or they're not worth sharing yet. So anyway, you guys, Saturday, we should have a video up where I'm talking about uh, my experience doing subscription box, yarn subscription boxes specifically over the course of the last three years and answering some of the questions that I got from you guys that should hopefully go up on Saturday morning as long as I have time to, to, to edit and review a little bit. But that should go up then. And I will see you sometime next week. Hopefully I will have enough done around the house where I can at least show you what it looks like. Uh, otherwise, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I love you guys and I will see you real soon. Bye guys.